Hello, I'm David Osga and this is Sign7, here to give you a look at what's been going on in the signage and wide format industries. This week we speak to sustainability consultant Amy Davis about the ways in which recycling streams are changing within the industry and how companies can get ahead when it comes to eco practices. Signage fabrication quite often happens as a rollout. The brand gets changed and you want to shift between. So I can almost see that potentially translating in that when rollers don't just look at the new signage, it actually looks at a collection and ensuring it gets taken back and recycled correctly. And actually those retail brands wanting reports on that to show that they've done that. There are now uh, people out there that will go in as shop fitters that will go in there and their mission is to do 90% recycled everything they take out of that store. I can see that also shifting to what we do as fabricators as well and us being asked to take back products and potentially strip them down at end of life or even businesses set up that that's their core business that's all they do because there's enough of a demand for it. There have been conversations with retailers I've had in the past and also with people in the packaging industry actually about whether things like having QR codes as a very simple scanner product end of life, it tells you what components it's made out of. That can tell you how to break it down and recycle it. Um, and I think technology has a massive part to play. Um, a lot of sustainability is talking things about blockchain, which I think is a long way and quite a complicated system for traceability of where your materials come from. But actually, I think almost things like, as I say, QR codes and simpler things, even just labels saying this is recyclable and what type of plastic it is, would go a long way for giving people that choice as to whether they choose to recycle it. And, and a lot of people that work in the print and signage industry do not realise that when their commercial bins get picked up, there might be a landfill site 20 minutes up the road from them and it's just going straight in the ground and they are not aware of it. And that's what this workshop hopefully kind of helps demonstrate and ask more questions rather than assume. Davis, who works with signage consultancy Make It Happen, helped form the idea for the Sustainability Bootcamp with founder Sam Armstrong. The workshops operate twice a month from SignFab in Leicester and ImageCo in Leeds. The training seeks to educate businesses on how to expand portfolios to better attract green buyers. And there's a bit of an economic pinch. It, things tend to split down the middle. You still have people that will spend the money, that will want to stand out from the crowd and, and do those because they, they've got that behind those bigger retail brands, for example. And then you've got people that want to penny pinch a bit more. And I think what's going to be very interesting and what this course is hopefully going to show you is these are the penny pictures, don't go there. There's no point wasting your time, you know. These are the people that are wanting to spend a bit money and the sustainability is important to them. So these are the people you should be going after. Use this new language that you have learned on the course, your product knowledge. Use it to go out and have these conversations and make yourself come across as the expert that you are so that moving forward, not only do they see you and talk about you as being that sustainable signage expert, they talk to other businesses. And once you've got that reputation, it's very easy then to carry on. It's not so difficult to do that if someone else has beat you to the post and got in there before you. So I think that's why we sort of targeted the, the workshop as future-proofing. Get in there before somebody else does and gets that knowledge as being that guru on the subject matter. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more from SignLink, you can check us out on the socials on screen or at signlink.co.uk. See you next week.